Okay, okay, okay. What if we call this a blocky morph? Who's with me? Okay, so apparently I'm running on this by myself. Either way, today we're gonna to be having a look at the Funko Pop 8 Bits. This is the Alien Entertainment Earth exclusive Xenomorph. Anyways, let's look at the figure. We're going to put the Ultra Measuretron 5000. That's what we call it after all. We're going to put that right to the top of the Xenomorph's head, telling us in inches that the figure stands 4.3 centimeters, yells out somebody from the audience. So 11 centimeters is how tall this vinyl figure stands. I'll vote for some size comparisons because I just recently had a look at him. Here he is next to 8-Bit Freddy. A little bit shorter. Here he is next to 8-Bit NES Jason, who he is actually a little bit taller. And a lot of that obviously can be chalked up to the fact that the 8-Bit Freddy, or the regular Freddy, depending on which one you may have picked up for yourself, has the fedora. So they're about scaled to one another. Not accurately in real life, the Xenomorph should be a lot taller, but they are certainly cute little collectibles. Now this little stinker uh, was actually, I got it inside a subscription box and I really was thrilled to see it. I might've even leapt out of my seat. It should be like a little, no leaping out of seat actually commenced. But this is the Entertainment Earth exclusive version of the Xenomorph, which I think is what is exclusive about it, is the blue on the one side, the yellow on the other side, or the orange on the other side, because I think the regular release of the Xenomorph here was all black. Now, all black could have also worked for this little pixelized poo-poo, but still, I think the added coloring of the blue and the added coloring of the orange definitely adds a little bit extra pop to this. NECA also released a version of the Xenomorph that had the blue and the orange on either side, so it's a nice complimentary little side piece if you've already picked up that figure for yourself. Now, let's talk pixelization. Uh, it seems very complex of a topic to be discussing, so we'll tone it down to the state of looking at this little guy in his pixeled states. I guess normally if you picked up a Xenomorph pop vinyl figure, which I don't think I've ever picked up and may be inclined to pick up, but it would have obviously had much smoother features to it. Its arms, its legs, and certainly most definitely the head would have been a lot smoother than what we're getting right here. This one looks like it's made out of Lego, which is something I ongoingly run with and seems to get a good Kafa out of the audience from time to time, but it does look like it's been comprised out of Lego. I can assure you though that you do not want to be taking this apart. Equally so, none of these figures seem to sport any posability. Some of the vinyl figures from Pop have at the very least had posability in the head. These 8 bit, 8 bit pixelized versions of these guys don't have any posability whatsoever. So instead, really, what you're getting is what you're looking at right now. I could literally put this guy down. I could walk away. I could just leave this camera running for the next 47 minutes. Go for lunch, go for grocery shopping, maybe even get a haircut. Come back and he literally would be doing the exact same thing. So you wouldn't be missing out on anything. What you are necessarily missing out on is a really neat looking collectible if you've otherwise just sort of dismissed pop vinyl figures as a whole. I have come very closely just to throwing in the proverbial towel and just thinking, Ugh. I don't even want to pick up another pop vinyl figure, and yet somehow they always find the way to pull me back in. And I think what they pulled me in with is with these 8-bit renditions. So here we've got the little claw. It's almost like he wants to come out and hold your hand, go for a little walk through the park. Don't take any hand holding with a Xenomorph. It probably is not going to end very well. They've added a little bit of white just to break up the overall coloring of the black. So like the normal Xenomorph, if there was one right here, you would have to use your imagination. It would likely be all black other than the white in his teeth, 
the white in his claws, and the white in his feet. Other than that, it would just I think it would just be all black. So I really do, again, like that you've got this bright blue on the one side and the bright orange on the other side, just to kind of break all up the overall mundaneness, I guess, that could be coming from an all-black xenomorph. Let's also talk that he's got these little scales that are sticking out from his back, and he's got little curly xenomorph tail. And the underside right there, we've got Funko LLC 2018. So it's not that old of a release. I kind of would like to go back and pick up, or at the very least, see what the regular version of this guy would have been, whether he would have had any color whatsoever, or if he would have just been all black, except for what white I've already pointed out in this review. If you've managed to first see this guy in the traditional regular colors, or if you've even done one better and picked this one up for yourself, let me know if the regular release had just simply all the colors omitted and just all black. We'd love to read your comments down below. But again, for what it is, it's pretty neat looking. I sort of get suckered in when it comes to anything that's 8-bit. NES games as a whole, I mean, if they could just release various characters that maybe they've already released in an 8-bit version, I think I'd be pretty thrilled by that. I think I've also even seen the Altered Beast version of the Werewolf in a pixelized version. If there's any other ones that have been released, let me know down below. At the very least, while I normally would just say poo-poo to the idea of new 8-bit pops or pops in general, the 8-bits might be enough to kind of still keep me somewhat, somewhat interested in this lineup. So as you probably would guess it, being that this is an Entertainment Earth exclusive, you probably have some safe idea as to where you have to pick this up for yourself. Now, Entertainment Earth may not be the only way to pick this figure up for yourself. You could probably source this one out on eBay if you're interested in grabbing it like I was interested and ecstatic to find it in one of my subscription boxes. Now, speaking of boxes, as we look at the number 24 Xenomorph from the Pop 8-bit lineup, one can't also help but notice that it's got a gray body. Only the top portion of its head is black, the rest of its body seems all gray. If somebody can confirm that, let me know down below. But yes, like I said, 8-bit pops could be the one last thing, the one last effort Funko may have to keep me interested in collecting pop vinyl figures. Normally, I would just overall dismiss the line because we've had so many. And I think I've even set myself up on the mailing list so that new pop vinyl figures get emailed to me it seems like on a daily basis, hey, we've got this coming out. Hey, we've got this coming out. It comes to the point where it's like, I don't want to even see any more vinyl figures of pop. And yet, lo and behold, here I am reviewing an 8-bit rendition of the Alien Xenomorph. By the way, are we going to go with Blocky Morph? I really so want to put that in the title, Blocky Morph. I'm not going to because somebody's going to say, dude, it's not a Blocky Morph. It's a Xenomorph. Don't you know your Alien films? Ha ha ha. I'm old, of course I know my Alien films. Either way, today we were having a look, gents and gals. This was the Funko Pop 8-bit figure number 24. This was the Xenomorph Alien. I'm totally not going to call it Blocky Morph, I promsies. Not going to do that. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Pop vinyl figure reviews, there's not many, but you could probably find a playlist on this channel. There seems to be a playlist for everything, every single thing. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below. That will guarantee you that when new videos are coming to this channel, you will know. And knowing is half the battle. And hey, while you're at it, why not swing over to the homepage, check out the other videos that are there, and see if there's anything you may have missed along the way. Always welcoming new comments on older videos. That makes me so very happy inside. It's, not, it's almost as if I could just throw up rainbows. And little unicorns would run across the rainbows. <laughs> As always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.